Hi, Sheila here. I would like to go over a little bit more about anchoring our awareness to the body. As I mentioned last time, when you are completely uh, paying attention to sensations in the body, your mind is really engaged in the present moment. And what we learn over time is that engagement can be very restful and very uh, beneficial for our nervous system, just for our sense of well-being and ease, more so now than ever. So many of the thoughts that we have, um, while they may be true um, and valid, it doesn't mean that we need to be engaged with them all the time. This is really a question of balance. So sometimes we need a break from them in a very real way. And as I may have said before, we're not pushing thoughts away. We're just kind of swapping them out for something a little more skillful. And the skill does build the more we do it. There is a progression of that where the more we do this, the more we practice, the more familiar it becomes. I want to say we don't get better at having a quiet mind free of thought. What we become more skilled at is noticing when we are on that thought train, so to speak, when we're caught up, enmeshed in our thoughts, we notice it more quickly and then we kind of know what we can do. We can return to some anger. So this anchor, as a progressive relaxation, if we began at the crown of the head, would be noticing, resting for a few breaths, maybe on the forehead, the space between the eyebrows. You can name all the muscles that you can think of, all the areas in the face, the eyelids and the jaw and the cheeks. Even the ears, you just name places in your face. The hollow of your throat, made in here. The shoulders, some people go down both arms together, elbows, or you go down one arm at a time. The right elbow and the right wrist and all the fingers on the right hand. You can come back up and go down the other side. There are many ways to approach it, but the um, the overall style is that we progress through the body, down through the uh, torso, the front and back of the body, just gently naming to ourselves points along the way. And of course, if we're leading this for somebody in our home, we can say these things out loud. We can rest with the other person for a few breaths until we make it down to the soles of the feet. Should you want somebody to guide this for you, um, there are clips on YouTube that are free, freely done by people that will guide you in this. There's a wonderful website called Sounds True, S-O-U-N-D-S, True, T-R-U-E. And Sounds True actually is partnering with my um, meditation uh, teacher certification program. They produce the videos and many of the things that we do online. But what they also are is a storehouse of courses, um, music, and guided relaxations like this. Uh, and they are for purchase, I guess, most of the time. The YouTube clips will probably be available for free from many skilled um, teachers. So if you feel like you need somebody to lead it, those are some options. Um, but if you like to play around with it, I often think it, it is kind of um, also anchoring to be thinking about what you're going to be saying next. What connects in the body? Where can I look? You kind of can't do it wrong. Just do it slowly with the intention of landing your awareness on a point in the body, a joint, a few muscles, an area, area behind your knees, the small of your back. And as I said, give yourselves a few breaths worth of time to just land there. And you will find that thoughts join you along the way. They just creep in. It's what they do. So our reaction to them, mm, that's a thought. And so then we return our awareness to 
the sensation, the parts of the body at hand. It's really just that simple. We don't need to admonish ourselves for having thoughts. They will join us. So this disconnects us a little bit from all those um, stressful emotions that can kind of linger in the body and make us feel ill at ease, hard to digest our food, difficult to fall asleep, all of those emotions swirling, just little bits of rest throughout your day can be helpful. So I hope it will be helpful. I hope you will try this either on your own or maybe with someone that you're living with. If you have questions again, you can reach out to me through the community center. Mostly, I hope that you and your loved ones are all doing well. And I will look forward to coming back and sharing some other tips with you. So thank you.